My name is John Shepard, and I'm the executive producer for Velvet Road. This project gave us an opportunity to, to there's no cards on the table in terms of business. It's really about creation. So it gave us a chance to, to, to reach out to some people and say, hey, you've got a great facility for post-production and audio sound, digital video arts. Um, why don't you come along and, and, and work with us on this? And they said yes. We uh, also went back to some of the people we knew from Doorpost and picked out uh, Zoe Creative, who is doing our compositing. We got Applebox uh, Productions, who's one of the bigger Grip and Lighthouses here in town, to come on board and give us this great facility that we're sitting in right now and provide our camera and all our Grip and Light um, for, for the sake of the job. So um, it goes beyond that. We got restaurants in town giving us food, and we, you know, a lot of people. Um, being philanthropic and in terms of helping this project get it get off the ground, so uh, it's pretty, it's kind of a big deal, and a lot of people are watching it. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Al Gustavo Cooper, and um, I'm the director of Velvet Road. Velvet Road is a story about uh, Bobby, who is um, is in a lot of trouble, and. The, the story takes place in the 1960s during the Civil Rights Movement and the height of uh, segregation in the Deep South. You know, I was really sold when I spoke with Gustavo, the director. He seems like he has a real strong vision of what he wants. He's really young and enthusiastic, and uh, I just get a good feeling that he's got a bright future, and I want to ride his coattails. I will admit that when he came to me with with Velvet Road the first time, said, hey, well, actually, he didn't even have a name. He said, I want to make a zombie film. And I was like, do we need another zombie film, really? You know? And, uh, and I, know, I know what attracted them to that. The same thing that attracts me to a lot of different types of genres is I'm fascinated with how did they do that, or can I do that? And uh, I get that element of it. But I said, I'm, you know, I'll do it if there's a story to it, if there's a really good story to it. What's another great aspect about this film? It's not your typical zombie monster film. It also has a, uh, a strong element of racial divides that are happening in this era. And uh, basically the black man is being accused of causing this virus and spreading it. Much like how the AIDS epidemic started. Everyone was pointing towards black people and also gay people and it caused a segregation. And so he's taking the uh, reason for segregation in this time period being also due to the disease. And so the white man's trying to quarantine the black man at this point, which is so ignorant, but I think it, it raises some very interesting questions. It's Walter Colson, and I play the character of Miles. He pretty much is the person who turns things around as far as what everybody is uh, really uptight about. You know, uh, you, got the, you got the whites that's uh, thinking that he's, that the blacks are the ones that's causing, or the minority that's causing uh, these zombies and this disease to go around. And I think that Miles, he's the one that he, he's, he's humanity. He's the epitome of humanity. Uh, the project is called Velvet Road, and uh, it's a uh, period piece taking place in like 1960s. I come home and find my wife, who's uh, been mutilated by a zombie, and I'm rushing to get her to the hospital. And uh, there's a lot of uh, dangerous events that happen in between me grabbing her and getting her to the hospital. We don't make it to the hospital. We don't make it anywhere. We make it to Velvet Road. That's all I'm gonna tell you right now. You have to watch the movie. And uh, there's a zombie apocalypse happening, which is actually flesh-eating flesh-eaters, if you will. And apparently it's a new sort of zombie that uh, no one has ever um, touched upon, according to this, uh, this geek who works in a comic store. By the way, his name's Steve Azell, and he's playing the sheriff. Thought I threw that in, yeah. These kind of zombies uh, are kind of an amalgamation between like the, 
the fast zombie and the creepy like moving creatures from um, like uh, I, I would imagine like the ring because of how they jump around and stuff and uh, and and the traditional slow zombie you know it's it's like a it's a combination of uh, those three elements of uh, horror film and I think that's really cool it's like a, a brand new type almost you know um, there's hundreds of different types of zombies like uh, different short stories like uh, HP Lovecraft wrote uh, some zombie short stories there's old stories from uh, Haitian uh, folklore and stuff about zombies and those, those are different you know but I uh, but this one in particular I think is gonna be even scarier than uh, than your normal one because uh, because it's quick but it's not like it's it's running at full speed you know uh, it can catch up to you um, and, and it's just creepier looking the way it moves, you know, like ah, kind of like robot a little bit, you know, kind of like that. And I, I think that's uh, one of the more interesting things about Gus's choice. The, uh, I gotta come? Okay. Thank <laughs> you.